Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are doing well, staying safe, and most importantly, in these testing times, staying inside like me. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea transfer news video because there is some transfer news. Apparently, so saith reputable French journalists that Chelsea are very close to securing the second signing of the Frank Lampard era, a Brazilian centre-back who plays for Lille in Ligue 1, and it's... Uh, I don't know much about him, I watched him play against us, I looked at his numbers, I'm not overly hyped, but I'm going to talk to you who it is, Wagwan, and just give you the lowdown. Also, this one spikes my interest, at the moment it's just a new story floating in the ether, but apparently Chelsea are about to approach, or have approached, Real Madrid for Hakimi, who's on loan at Dortmund, who's an absolute bad boy, and I'm going to give you the stats on him, he's... Honestly, honestly, he'd be at the top of my list over Tellez and Chilwell if Chelsea could get him. He's so good. So exciting times, a lot of positivity to talk about. And while we're on the positive train, let me thank you lot for those of you who have donated to my NHS fundraiser. Thank you so much. We're doing really, really well. There's another couple of weeks left. If you want to donate and support the NHS, please do click the link in the top of the description. And if you put your Twitter handle in whatever donation you can do, you could win a Chelsea shirt from me. I'll send it to you if you donate. All right, let's move on. So let's start with Gabriel. I'm not going to say his full name because he's got a really long, complicated Brazilian full, li full name. Full name? Why does it sound weird? A really long, complicated Brazilian name that if I said in full, I would embarrass myself. But I've already just done that. So, you know, can't win. So 22 years old, plays for Lille, is Brazilian. I think he's an under 23s. Brazilian international. Now, this apparently reputable French journalist said this up on the screen now. It's almost completed this deal. Everton tried to, but Chelsea are ahead. Now, Everton were very close, or generally quite close to signing Gabriel. Chelsea swoop in as they often do, do a madness and steal a player. Ancelotti would probably not be thanking his old club and Frank Lampard for this instance. Sure, now let's, we're going to talk about do Chelsea need a centre-back? I've often talked about it. I'm going to reiterate my opinion on this video in this video today. But let's talk about the player first. I looked at his numbers on who scored, and to be honest, man, nothing really impressive in terms of offensive and defensive metrics. Doesn't make particularly loads of tackles or interceptions. Maybe that's because of the way Lille play. It's difficult without doing a complete sort of deep dive, but I guess if Everton really wanted him and were willing to pay significant money and Chelsea are too, there is something behind this player. Like I said, I'm not going to pretend I've watched loads of him because why would I pretend that? But it's one of those players that, look, obviously the club's looking at him, perhaps his player profile matches a certain way Chelsea want to play, they've seen something in his physicality where they think that will work. Bit of training down Cobham, slotting nicely to the Chelsea team. Thank you very much. So really, on the player who Chelsea are apparently on the verge of signing, even in this world health crisis. Weird talking about signings when this is going on. Still, apparently they're very close. So safe, the sports people. I guess football moves on in the background. And this one's apparently nearly done. Do Chelsea need another centre-back? I don't know. If you know me and you know my channel, you will know that I have always maintained Chelsea have four very good centre-backs. Talented centre-backs, but it doesn't mean it's going to work between them. Rudiger, apparently the most experienced and often regarded as a good centre-back often more so by people out of Chelsea than Chelsea fans, interestingly. Zuma, very good centre-back. Everton, interestingly, the aforementioned Everton, they bloody love Zuma. He was a superb player for them. He's put in some big performances for Chelsea, just not necessarily consistent enough. Fakaya Tomori, Derby's player of the season. The last season under Frank Lampard, a lonely centre-back. Demonstrated immense ability um, and had some superb performances and scored an absolute rocket for Chelsea. Maybe Chelsea's goal of the season. Not that really that should be, you know, taken into account too much for a centre back. Really, really highly rated, very young, unmatched recovery pace in the Chelsea squad. And of course, Andreas Christensen, who is probably in the best form out of all the centre backs in the latter stages of this terminated or paused Chelsea campaign. So where does it leave you? It leaves you with a bunch of meh centre-backs. Chelsea need a leader. Do they get that from a 
one 22 year old centre back from league earn? I just don't know. Like many of you, I'd be happy to see the defence shaken up to see if more solidity could come with new personnel. Maybe Gabriel could bring that. Watch this space, I'll keep you guys updated. Right, let's talk about Hakimi. This one got me excited because I love the player generally. I bought him on FIFA, on my FIFA career, and I've been playing with him on FIFA for ages, so that's how I got into him loads. One of you suggested that I buy him, I'm digressing, I'm talking about FIFA. Hakimi is a young 21-year-old Moroccan defender, fullback, wide man, winger. He is an absolute baller. He's a Real Madrid player on loan at Dortmund and he's been one of the standout players in Germany this season. Let me tell you why I love Hakimi. He can play left back just as good as right back and that doesn't mean he's bad at either. He can just play both which already is super useful. We've seen how Frank Lampard moves over as Piaquetta when he can. He would love to be able to do that with his, you know, this young speed demon because he is a speed demon. He is so quick this kid. Uh, if you want to break away with the ball at your feet or just kick it forward and chase it, Hakimi is your boy. And guess what? He's really good at attacking, surprisingly. He's got a few goals, but he's in double digits for league assists this season. That's shades of like Trent Alexander-Arnold. You know what I mean? He's really, really offensive. He'll put in loads of balls for cutbacks for midfielders or forwards when he gets to the final third. Absolute offensive tank but he can also stick in a tackle as well although his defensive numbers aren't massive they're still pretty high especially for a fullback really really impressive from Hakimi so so young so much versatility so much offensive power and still can defend oh yeah when I say versatility left back right back and he very much can play left wing back comfortably he can play left midfield in a 4-4-2 or a 4-5-1 he is a really good player. So I've waxed lyrical about Hakimi enough, you know that I really, really rate him highly, and basically, you could probably ascertain from that that he's top of my list, like above Tellez. And above Tellez because he's 21 and Tellez is like 28. So think about that. He's seven years younger, he might cost twice as much, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, even if it is a bit more than that, it's still a really good deal. He's above uh, Chilwell for me, he's above Tellers for me. In terms of my personal football manager FIFA wish list, Hakimi is now sitting on the top and Chelsea have been linked with him. Although he's on loan at Dortmund from Real Madrid, there's no option to buy. So he'll go back after having an immensely positive campaign and Real Madrid will, will have loved his loan season at Dortmund, really, really heightening his value. And they'll probably look to sell him to a Premier League club for that sweet Premier League dollar. Dortmund would probably love to buy him, and maybe they could just say, oh, we'll take X amount of the Jaden Sancho money and buy Hakimi. But to be honest, Dortmund don't like getting ripped off. They make money. They don't lose it. Do you know what I mean? So they enjoyed a great season with him. I think that he'll just go back to Real Madrid, and Real Madrid maybe apparently a rumored figure just to start with is 60 million euros chelsea to buy hakimi for 60 million euros all day long may if ben chilwell is going to go for 75 80 million pounds which is like you know whatever like 90 million euros or best part of 60 million euros for hakimi thank you very much i'd be all over that 100 percent Versus, he, he, he's on the left back position, Reese James in the right back position, both bombing forwards. Frank Lampard has said a few times, fullbacks are very um, important in the way he wants to play and how it is in modern football generally. There you are, mate. Reese James at your right back, Hakimi in the left back. Go forwards, have a lot of fun. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So there we have it, two players. One that got me really excited in Hakimi, and obviously that's just a transfer rumor link at the moment, although it is over a lot of like rags going around, but still, you know, just pace ourselves on that one. But apparently Gabriel to Chelsea is rather close indeed, which is an interesting one and rather came out of nowhere, but often Chelsea transfers do. Do you know what I mean? They just suddenly happen in 48 hours and we're like, where did that come from? It's the Chelsea way, or hold on, it's a Chelsea thing. Anyway, what do you guys think? I want your thoughts and opinions on everything I've spoken about in this video, or certainly the two players. Do you know more about Gabriel than I do? Let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll have a read, and I look forward to learning about it. Also, are you on the Hakimi hype train like me? 
<laughs> because I'm driving the hype train, man. I've got a couple of empty seats in the carriage back. Hop on and let me know what you think about that as well. Feel free to follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. That's it from me, you lot. You stay safe, stay at home, stay isolated, enjoy the football that's not happening at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble I only love this paper, sorry I don't I love me baby